హాయ్ రవి హాయ్ రోషన్ హాయ్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఫిల్మ్ కపాన్ సౌత్ ఎలా ఉన్నారు గ్రేట్ గ్రేట్ హౌ యూ ఐ యామ్ గ్రేట్ లాస్ట్ వన్ వీక్ ఎలా ఉంది క్రేజీ ఐ వుడ్ సే ఇట్ వాస్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఇమోషనల్ రోలర్ కోస్టర్ అంటర్ కదా ఇట్ వాస్ లైక్ దట్ అండ్ దేర్ ఆర్ దేర్ ఇస్ క్రేజీ రెస్పాన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ఎవరీవేర్ సమ్ పీపుల్ ఆర్ రియల్లీ లవింగ్ ఇట్ సమ్ పీపుల్ మైట్ నాట్ యాక్చువల్లీ అగ్రీ విత్ వాట్ వీ సెడ్ బట్ ఐ థింక్ ద ఇంపాక్ట్ దట్ ఈస్ బీయింగ్ క్రియేటెడ్ ఆన్ ఫ్యూ పీపుల్ హూ వాచ్ ద ఫిల్మ్ ఇట్ హాస్ బీన్ ఫినామినల్ నేను జనరల్ గా ఈ సినిమా నాకు చూసిన వెంటనే నాకు అనిపించింది ఏంటంటే దిస్ ఇస్ అ వెరీ పర్సనల్ ఫిల్ లైక్ టు ద క్రియేటర్ ఆర్ ఈవెన్ ఐ వాస్ వాచింగ్ అన్ ఇంటర్వ్యూ ఇట్ వాస్ వెరీ గుడ్ దట్ వెన్ హీ వాస్ నారేటింగ్ ఇట్ యూ దేర్ వాస్ దట్ వన్ మూమెంట్ లైక్ దేర్ వర్ మెనీ మూమెంట్స్ బట్ వన్ మూమెంట్ దట్ రియలీ స్ట్రక్ యూ వాస్ వెన్ దట్ యూ సెట్ దట్ వితౌట్ రివీలింగ్ కాన్వర్సేషన్ దట్ దిస్ క్యారెక్టర్ హ్యాస్ విత్ హిస్ మామ్ దట్స్ అ సినారియో దట్ హ్యాపెన్ టు యూ అది మీకు జరిగింది అని చెప్పి కెన్ యూ షేర్ లైక్ వాట్ దట్ వాస్ సో అంటే ప్రీ క్లైమాక్స్ లో అంటే లైక్ సినిమా ఎవరు చూడలేదు వాళ్ళు కొంచెం ఒక వన్ మినిట్ ముందరికి వెళ్ళిపోండి బట్ లైక్ యా దట్ ప్రీ క్లైమాక్స్ లో సీన్ వేర్ ఐఎమ్ సిట్టింగ్ విత్ మదర్ అది సిట్టింగ్ విత్ మామ్ అండ్ ఈజ్ సేమ్ దట్ నాకు అర్థం కావట్లేదు ఏం చేయాలో దాట్ అ వెరీ సిమిలర్ కాన్వర్సేషన్ విత్ మా మదర్ సమ్వేర్ అరౌండ్ టూ టూ అండ్ హాఫ్ ఇయర్స్ వేర్ అంటే లైక్ ఐ వాజ్ ఇన్ అ వెరీ వెరీ like i had uh, i mean like you know i was in love with the person and uh, i didn't know what to and i i knew that i couldn't do justice if i was there so i thought i couldn't until like figure out should i let this go or should i say here and like you know to not do justice and manage it somehow so i was speaking to my mom and she said love yourself first and things like that and that aroj malli our story went and i was like ఇది రవి ఏమైనా స్పై కెమెరా పెట్టాడా నా చుట్టూ అనేది అండ్ దేర్ యాక్చువల్లీ అన్ అదర్ సీన్ క్లైమాక్స్ సీన్ వేర్ ఐఎమ్ టాకింగ్ టు జాన్వి దేర్ టూ థింగ్స్ ఇన్ యాక్టింగ్ ఇమోషనల్ మెమరీ అండ్ సెన్స్ మెమరీ ఇమోషనల్ మెమరీ ఈస్ వెరీ అమ్యూచర్ యాక్టింగ్ ఐ నో బట్ దాట్ స్పెసిఫిక్ డే సమ్ హౌ ఐ వాంటెడ్ టు క్రియేట్ అన్ ఇమోషన్ ఫ్రమ్ మై మెమరీ so i went back uh, the last time i met my grandfather i went to la before i lost him i was in la i could never i never saw him for one last time uh, before that was the last time i saw him so i just had a conversation somehow both of us knew that this is the last time we were meeting oh damn okay and itla chey vatkone i just told him that i'll make you proud sunday tata and all that and i pendi i was in la i was doing my acting course and everything and uh, he passed away i didn't i couldn't uh, come back mm-hmm. and cut to four years later um, we would be doing bubble gum <clears throat> and i was like okay i would recreate that emotion and like you know somehow i don't know why i wanted to do that but uh, i really wanted to like you know kind of it was my goodbye to my grandfather mm. so i did that and i was like wow felt nice it felt amazing it, i could see him sit in front of me and then actually i seen lo i was talking to my grandfather the words were coming out of adi but that was roshan talking to devdas kanakala wow and i came back wow. home uh. and i told my dad that it uh, like like jesa nenu itla baat sindhi event ochindante the sai 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 kind of thing entante my dad told me ni kodu telsa this is the death anniversary of your grand- grandfather i didn't know that i completely forgot because i was so involved in work. the day you were shooting yeah that yeah. specific day when i did that so that is why that scene is extremely extremely special to me i think uh, i'm so grateful for ravi to give me that opportunity to create something like that and somehow at coincidentally i don't know if it's magic or hmm. coincidence or anything but it was something out of this world <laughs> wow man yeah wow. i i somehow felt his presence and all that maybe because i was creating that in my head or hmm. maybe it was something much more bigger than all know. this hmm. it was so magical that is yeah like till today i can still feel the goosebumps on my hand when i'm talking about that wow yeah i witnessed that scene live in front <laughs> of the monitor so <coughs> it was crazy yeah was, he has a very beautiful process of getting into scenes mm. so any scenes he has a nice process he has a playlist for it oh really yeah yeah 20 25 minutes before the scene he just he just transitions and a casual ga maatladutuntam kada joke lesku untuntam fun untund set meeda but whenever he is going into perform an emotion scene or an intense scene you know that he is in the zone he is in the zone when uh, he doesn't respond so ena joke esam anko melliga navesi pakka tiri potadu anamata that's when i know that okay this fellow has gone into that zone now anka zone lo unchayal inka danni disturb cheyagadu 
so that way aruj especially when he was recreating that moment uh, it was crazy ante i know meta parallels untai cinema lo you they are under you don't know what uh, life imitates art or yeah, art imitates artists, life like, yeah. so it's crazy that how one artist uh, uh, goes into his own uh, emotional memory to recreate something mm. which is co- completely quite the opposite and uh, it's the same with all all most of the people that worked on the film even the music director or other actors mansa everybody but they had very good uh, personal connect to the film and somewhere i feel that as artists they wanted to ex- express or they wanted to add uh, to what's there in the script or uh, the film so that way it's a beautiful process of creating that art as ravi said uh, i have this own process of doing my capturing that emotion as adi and everything mm-hmm. but a lot of people told me that uh, actor ante ochina vantane pat and slip ay poali i get that i can do that but i enjoy the process mm-hmm. i like the whole process so i like to do that for about like 25 minutes only like what till we are thinking of what's happening in the character's head or whatever like i have like i like to do the process i enjoy the process okay nice man we'll we'll get back to your playlists <laughs> but before that like we were discussing this is a very personal film and you came and i was watching an interview of yours where you said that it's a thumb rule for you that you don't recreate events from your life yeah. but you only recreate the impact correct yeah please elaborate on that with an example from bubblegum how you recreated the impact of an event in your life let's take the interval scene for example Hmm. uh it's not uh, that every day one goes through that kind of a situation where the humiliation uh, you mean humiliation hmm. but not literally, literally maybe strip off hmm. everybody goes through insults or humiliations on a daily basis and just skip through one minute because this is a spoiler yeah, that's happening right yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so uh, especially when uh, a scene like interval scene that didn't happen in my life hmm. uh, but i didn't went through uh, similar uh, humiliation where i felt naked mm. you know where i i felt stripped off and uh, on standing on the road i'm fully clothed i'm in my car but i feel so naked you know that helpless situation where uh, you can do th- you have two choices for everything in life mm. this this for anything you make a film you make a career you make a choice of getting into a relationship yes no or two choices always mm. so what we choose uh shapes our future and life yeah and life mm. so for me on a personal level i feel that everything that happens to you should be directed towards creating into something positive or constructive out of your life that that is my approach towards uh, life uh so like that the impact was there the impact of the humiliation was there but how you chan- uh, choose to channel that humiliation or rage or whatever that is in your inside your that's burning in your heart uh, into doing what mm. so i think uh, that is the example of how uh, there was the impact of uh, hap- something happening in my life mm. uh, and translating that same kind of impact onto the screen it might not necessarily happen in my own life but as human we go through all the emotions you and you must have gone through your own share of insults or put down or rejection or whatever it is yeah. but uh, i feel all emotions are universal it's just that uh, how you recreate that impact maybe some feel the intensity so much based on uh, what point they are in their life some people might not feel it so it's something to do with that i hope i answered your question yeah 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 but tell me something guys on now this is not about the film but this is about how you see the world and how you approach life and which is also something that the film talks about yeah it is and roshan was recently saying in one interview that right now he you want to fo- focus your entire energy on you know acting you're not ready for a commitment you're not ready for you know something else you want to you know cha- channelize all the energy on to acting and you you said that you when you got my ma- you got married even yeah, before six years now yeah. shanam even before no, shanam after shanam i got married in 2017 yeah. yeah but had you thought of okay not getting into a relationship until and i'm you know stable as a filmmaker maybe yeah. that wouldn't have happened right right so you had to make a choice but you i am assuming you made a choice to you know and see sailing on both the boats and it's not advisable but Correct. you somehow managed to do that yeah. how do you guys approach this 
కానండ్ ప్లేసింగ్ మీరు ప్యాషనా లేకపోతే ఒక ఒక రిలేషన్షిప్పా హౌ డి యూ గైస్ అప్రోచ్ ఐ థింక్ ఐ వుడ్ గెట్ ఇన్ టు రిలేషన్షిప్ ఇఫ్ ది ది అదర్ పర్సన్ వుడ్ అండర్స్టాండ్ ద ప్యాషన్ ఐ హ్యావ్ ఫర్ సినిమా బికాస్ దట్స్ సినిమా ఇస్ ద మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ థింగ్ టు మీన్ మై లైఫ్ ఇట్స్ మై ఐడెంటిటీ ఇట్ ఈస్ హూ ఐ యామ్ బికాస్ ఐ షేప్డ్ మై లైఫ్ ఐ హెస్ నాట్ గివెన్ ఆపర్చునిటీస్ బై ఎనీ వన్ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ సేష్ ప్లేడ్ అ మేజర్ మేజర్ రోల్ ఇన్ giving me the opportunity to direct stunner and he played a role in major also in he played a role in major also bad joke word play okay. <laughs> cut it off yeah uh. so yeah so that's there but uh, what were we talking about sorry no i just feel cinema as an identity yeah, yeah. yeah. so for me uh, that plays a major role so if mm. my partner is not getting the fact that cinema is mm. my everything mm. i think probably i wouldn't have gotten into a relationship with him thankfully we now understands that you man i i mean it's completely not related to morality or uh, is this right or is this wrong personally mm. <laughs> i would say that i'm this kind of a person who can't function i get uh, comfortable if i'm in such spaces so comfortable not like mentally somehow it happens you settle down yeah <laughs> time to settle down mm. so i don't right right right, right. yeah this is a very personal Personally, opinion yeah, yeah. Personal. That, that's why i said it's not about yeah. movie but how you approach your life yeah, yeah. Mm. so yeah i mean like um, the chase is what keeps things going forward in, in every space that mm. means with work or any other thing as well the chase is what drives me <laughs> so yeah so you're saying the destination that's is that's a lot diplomatic not answer you're saying it's a lot diplomatic but just in the land let's say that's why uh tell me something this is a conversation that we were having nijanga meeku the risk ananipichaleda the ending when you heard see you know that it okay you connected to it it's a very novel point i loved that point but at the end of the day you are making a film for the audience audience acceptance anedi okati important were you not uh, what do you call id risk ra babu emo ane doubt raledu see there was a uh, okay happy ending and a happy ending in terms of <coughs> getting back to, to, together or mm. being with together at the end of the film and mm. obviously discussions were chaala saru vachindi is this a risky business should be like adi and janvi malli kalisipovala like pote vidipovala ani but maybe uh, in my head i thought times have changed but unfortunately i now feel that times <laughs> haven't changed <laughs> but yeah i i really thought times have changed because uh, even in 2023 if you're not putting yourself first and if you're compromising on uh, things what is the point of uh, evolution or uh, and if you have only one life you might as well live it the way you want it <coughs> right mm. but if you have to compromise or succumb to uh, situations or pressure mm-hmm. uh, i thought maybe people are much more uh, uh, evolved 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 oh my god oh my god word, but no, i don't yeah. want to say that people are not evolved <laughs> they're still in primitive stages <laughs> planet of the apes like but yeah. broader broader, broader yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. you man no I definitely until like as i said when the discussions were happening or something like that initially when i heard the script i was so blown away by the narration that i couldn't uh, think of any kind of risk or mm. any kind of risk ante appudu aithe na game anipiledu but uh, later on when we were discussing and stuff like that yes it felt like it's a risky thing to do but i thought it was a very ethical thing to do mm-hmm. and i thought the real happy ending lies in the climax that we've uh, given mm-hmm. spoiler alert again um that he's happy with himself until like uh, she's also uh, happy she's yeah. also happy it's not that yeah. she's crying or yeah. like he's crying there's this dialogue are you manavi em jo sochcham yo em je sochcham yo adi kavalra pude edunna ma chudandi in enjoy india and i thought that was the real happy ending. and i still believe that no matter what i still believe that that is a true happy ending mm-hmm. rather than both of them gal spray undadam wala toxicity is wala accept cheskoni parledu mana just say bonam undam i really don't think that would have been a happy ending for me mm-hmm. ravi you were saying that he he's saying that that this is his definition of a of a happy, happy ending. ending yeah was that one of your like initial seeds like you were saying me you were telling me that yeah, yeah. that experience yeah uh, that con- the, please say yeah, what yeah. was that so conversation on this the happened uh, last year 2022 sorry before last year mm. not in 2024 but i had i was having this conversation with one of my cousins 
who was just getting out of a toxic relationship and he was 21 22 i was i was curious about uh, what's happening in their lives because i'm 32 right now mm. and 22 23 is about 10 years uh, yeah. uh, younger it's than it's a different it's a diff- different it's a def- generation, different yeah. generation. Yeah. so i was talking to him and he said andaru kalsundali you know compromise avvali adjust avvali ani cheptaru but nobody speaks about exiting out of a relationship which is also very important because only sometimes it's very important to exit a few relationships mm-hmm. not because the partner is toxic or the relationship is toxic because you might be toxic also to yourself and at delikunda just because we are conditioned to uh, be with one person love jeste we can break off that relationship that is all deep conditioning man unnadi mana mana previous generation man meer uddaru and adi enta deep rooted untundante it pains us to exit a relationship and it's not easy it's security also it's there but it's not easy to uh, take that uh, choice especially for co- people from uh, middle class societies <coughs> where while life anta they were taught or they were conditioned to be uh, com- to compromise on things or not have a luxurious lifestyle marriage ante ne compromise ane oka romantic notion okati untundi exactly yeah and bring by, back to myself in my life when i was much younger and there was spaces where i thought are if what if i don't find something like this ever in my life mm. what if uh, things don't ever happen what if i'm lonely and what if so what mm. so what yeah. i'm happy like this so uh, that is i think uh, yeah i mean that is what we strive to i think show. most people be in relationships because they're afraid to be lonely yeah so it's sense of security sense of security and i don't know the society also has a very weird way of looking at uh, people who are alone people who are alone ko yeah. jam cheap i don't understand yeah. that a lot of people like the, at least like uh, circles and all 30 plus 35 they are like unfortunately these are notions are anukuntan nenu man ante udyogam cheyali 30 plus ayipothe neeku pelli ayipovali ani inka norms chaala unnai chaala unnai yeah and uh, again coming back to your writing process man uh, you write అగైన్ ఆ పిచ్ అనేది లైక్ సారీ మనం ఇంకా అది కంప్లీట్ చేయలేదు వాజ్ దాట్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద స్టార్టింగ్ పాయింట్స్ ఫర్ యా ఇట్ ఇస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద స్టార్టింగ్ పాయింట్ ఫర్ బబుల్ గమ్ అంటే ఇట్స్ నాట్ లైక్ వీ స్టార్టెడ్ సేయింగ్ దట్ విల్ మేక్ అ హ్యాపీ లవ్ స్టోరీ అండ్ దెన్ వీ టుక్ అ డిఫరెంట్ రూట్ బట్ సిన్స్ డే వన్ వీ న్యూ దట్ దీస్ గైస్ ఆర్ నాట్ గోయింగ్ టు బీ టుగెదర్ ఓకే వాట్ వాజ్ యువర్ ఫస్ట్ పిచ్ టు హిమ్ లైక్ ఇట్ ఐ థింక్ ద హోల్ క్లైమాక్స్ వాజ్ ద పిచ్ అండ్ ద ఇంటర్వెల్ వాజ్ ద పిచ్ వేర్ అ గై ఫ్రమ్ అ మిడిల్ క్లాస్ హౌస్ హోల్డ్ falls in love with a rich girl mm. because he has aspirations also because he's 21 22 21 and that age uh, you want a certain lifestyle yeah it you could ge- you could get carried away and that's still fine but you want a certain lifestyle you want to buy nice shoes or you want to drive a car or wear nice clothes nice clothes all of these aspirations will be there mm. and it's it's okay to have all of those aspirations in your uh, there's no point in judging people who want that lifestyle right mm. and especially when he finds a girl from a rich household and when all his needs are being uh, uh, taken so, care of yeah. mm. so you get a sense of saying that what's wrong in this you know this is nice this is this is nice i get to meet a different new world she's from a new world so she's intimidating that's why i like her mm. and the, the most important thing is i'm being validated mm. obviously my parents my friends the people that i hang around with will love me they have no other uh, choice but some random person in a club uh, listening to my music and dancing to it and coming up and telling me telling uh, coming up to me and telling that i like your music and he's looking for that one person who is exactly who, so yeah. he was looking he was looking for that validation everywhere and when it came from a pretty hot girl he thought it was love yeah like he said i want your take on it iddaru kuda enduku premisu ante tanannu adigite they don't have an answer exactly you don't you don't need a reason to fall in love or get attracted to someone because the first thing that we see in any other person man or a woman is how they are looking let's come down to that because we are all racist in that way yeah okay because in the first conversation we don't know what, who those people are and but once once you get to know those people looks really don't matter after a point in the relationship so uh, when it comes down to that it starts off as a casual attraction or as or a spark and i didn't uh, i wanted to keep it very simple that uh, you don't need any reason to get attracted to each other to fall in love it could just happen like that and the whole first half was just casual dating mm. and what dating anukoda teliyadu what is teliyadu he thinks it is love uh, but for her it is relationship 
for her it she is just testing waters yeah because i see some potential in here let's see what where it goes i'll take my own time and decide but uh, she akadro koche sarki chaala mishaps jarugutayi some misunderstandings yeah. and everything and see i want to know this 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 reaction from you we come from a different generation ipude mana generation gap gurinchi anta maatladukunnam that 10 years ipudu you are 22 23 23 okay ఇప్పుడు సెవెంటీన్ ఎయిటీన్ ఉండే వాళ్ళు అప్రోచ్ చేసే దేర్ అప్రోచ్ రిలేషన్షిప్ ఇస్ ఇట్స్ ఇట్స్ కంప్లీట్లీ డిఫరెంట్ అండ్ మన పేరెంట్స్ జనరేషన్ వాళ్ళు అప్రోచ్ చేసిన వాజ్ కంప్లీట్లీ డిఫరెంట్ మనం ఎలా అయితే ఇప్పుడు ఓకే నేను కెరియర్ సెట్ చేసుకున్న తర్వాత మ్యారేజ్ కెరియర్ తర్వాత అన్ ఫార్చునేట్లీ ఆర్ అన్ఫార్చునేట్లీ దట్స్ నాట్ హౌ ఆర్ పేరెంట్స్ అప్రోచ్ ఇట్ రైట్ యువర్ మామ్ అండ్ డాడ్ లైక్ వీ నో దాట్ ఫర్ నియర్లీ థర్టీ ఇయర్స్ సో దే హ్యావ్ ఎ డిఫరెంట్ వరల్డ్ వ్యూ what was their reaction like when you go and pitch something like this which is completely you know uh, i wouldn't say contradicts their world view <laughs> but at least doesn't align to what was the norm like some 30 years the norms that prevailed right. some 20 years ago or 30 years ago. no from day one they were very sold on this point ante iddar kuda chaala nachindi and cinema chusina appudu kuda they really liked the whole thing and like you know last final cut vachina appudu they saw the film and they really were in tears and stuff like that because of the whole and they saw the whole film and they really liked it from day one and they, they didn't feel like hey the laga kudde i think because they were into arts from before mm. they were fine with that idea because they are not fixated that ipudu ilane undali cinema ante or like ide evaru chustaru annatle because they were involved into arts from quite long time in their life as well my dad from the beginning okay man yeah so they weren't shocked mm. they were uh, sold on that idea from the beginning they thought it can be like massive if it's uh, like you know from the beginning they thought it will be crazy and like because it's not something very regular and uh, and message anan gani but like it's something and choose not choose nanta ipudu choose kontha mandi entertain avachu kontha mandi ki wow life will be easier than i thought so so there is this potential for it to become uh, asset for the society depending on how adhe ever ever ni enta impact of which chestam anedi different but yeah. it's likely to it's like to yeah yeah now let's come to your writing process yeah. i really liked the way the film was structured i mean first half is completely this guy you know going after yeah. her second half is role reversal yeah she coming mm-hmm. after him ఫస్ట్ హాఫ్లో ఉన్నదానికి సెకండ్ హాఫ్లో ఈకోస్ ఉంటాయి ఫర్ ఎక్సాంపుల్ హీ కేసెస్ ఆఫ్ ఫర్ ద వెరీ ఫస్ట్ టైమ్ ఇట్స్ ట్రిగర్డ్ బై జెలసీ లైక్ వైజ్ షీ కేసెస్ ఏమో కరెక్ట్ బికాస్ ఇట్ షీ ఇస్ జెలస్ ఆఫ్ సమ్ హౌ డిడ్ యూ కమ్ అప్ విత్ దీస్ ఇది స్ట్రక్చర్ అన్న అలా ప్యాటర్న్ అన్న అలా నాకు తెలియదు బట్ దిస్ రైటింగ్ ఐ థింక్ ఇట్ స్టార్ట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ చేంజ్ బికాస్ ఇక చూసినప్పుడు కూడా వెన్ ఐ స్టార్టెడ్ రైటింగ్ ది స్టోరీ ఐ నో దట్ యాజ్ అ స్టోరీ స్టోరీ ఆర్ అ టెంప్లెట్ టెంప్లెట్ ఇట్స్ జస్ట్ స్టిల్ ఇట్ స్టార్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ విత్ అ బాయ్ మీట్స్ గర్ల్ టెంప్లెట్ rich 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 girl and uh, middle class boy ee conflict anni manu chusindi telisindi but uh, for me when it comes to love story the way i wanted to treat bubblegum as a relationship drama mm. <coughs> i wanted to keep it uh, believable in sense a little realistic the interval points of course it's it's a little above it's than the reality. most dramatic correct yeah yeah aspect so ha uh-huh. so as a story uh, i have only the midpoint okay you get what i'm saying it's a boy meets girl and i know that they're going to separate in the end and but so i have a midpoint from from the midpoint the life changes mm. to both of them the girl a midpoint humiliation ga undali anedi how did you arrive humiliation ga undali ante no no a midpoint a conflict edaithe undo yeah. the thing that is separating them has to be a humiliation why did you pick humiliation how did that come damn ee question nenu kuda argalu ippudu yeah i think nenu kuda cheppaledu evariki ee question it could have been something else also no it could have been misunderstanding yeah. or misunderstanding yeah but that humiliation i think uh, only when you are humiliated in such a way your reaction is going to be that stronger <coughs> uh, mm-hmm. especially for a guy coming from a middle class uh, household mm. uh, where can you hit him the most isat avakash me kotagalo nee stature nee living meeda kotte adi gatti dagulutadu endukante adi vaadiki kuda telusu somewhere na bathu ekado koncham it's not there because he is he works in a dj he works as an assistant to a dj mm. in a club 
సో వాడి లైఫ్లోకి వెళ్ళినప్పుడు వాడు ఎంత ఆన్ వీకెండ్ డైలీ బేసిస్ వాడు కౌంటర్లో టెన్ ల్యాక్స్ ట్వంటీ ట్వెల్వ్ ల్యాక్స్ జస్ట్ పీపుల్ స్పెండింగ్ ఆన్ ఆల్కహాల్ చూస్తాడు ఎలాంటి కార్లు వస్తాడు చూస్తాడు ఎలాంటి బట్టలు వేసుకుని వస్తాడు చూస్తాడు అండ్ అటు వైపు కూర్చున్నాడికి వాడికి ఆ లైఫ్ బతకాలి ఉంటుంది వాడికి ఎప్పుడైనా ఒకసారి వాళ్ళ ఫ్రెండ్స్ని తీసుకెళ్ళి జస్ట్ ఒక కార్డ్ స్వైప్ చేసి ఒక ఫ్రైడే నైట్ ఒక థర్టీ థౌసండ్ అయితే బిల్ చేసి బయటకు రావాలనిపిస్తుంది ఆ ఏజ్లో ఎస్పెషల్లీ బట్ హీ నోస్ దట్ హీ క్యాంట్ అఫోర్డ్ ఇట్ సో ఎఫర్ట్ చేసినప్పుడు వాడికే వాడి లైఫ్ మీద తెలుసు వాడు రియాలిటీ ఏంటో బట్ ఆ రియాలిటీ చెక్ ఒక లవ్ చేసిన అమ్మాయి వాడు హ్యూ హ్యూమిలేట్ చేసింది అనుకో అదే రియాలిటీ చెక్ మీద బికాస్ నువ్వు దేని మీద కొట్టు నేను తీసుకున్నటువంటి బట్ నువ్వు నా అవకాశం మీద కొట్టినావు అన్న స్పే స్పేస్లో మాట్లాడతాడు కూడా సెకండ్ హాఫ్లో సో ఐ థింక్ ఫర్ హిస్ కండిషనింగ్ అండ్ ఫర్ హిస్ సరౌండింగ్స్ అండ్ ది యాంబియన్స్ దట్ హీస్ సెట్ ఇన్ ఐ థింక్ దాని మీద కొడితే వాడి వాడు చేంజ్ ప్రొఫైల్ అవ్వడానికి ఆ మాత్రం ఉండాలనిపించింది ఇంపాక్ట్ అదే ఎలా అంటే లైక్ ఆల్రెడీ థింక్ ఆఫ్ హర్ స్ట్రిప్పింగ్ ఆల్రెడీ కమ్ అప్ విత్ దాట్ ఐడియా సీ అడగలేదు ఇప్పుడు ఫీలింగ్ ఐ వాజ్ అర్లియర్ యూ టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ ద ఫీలింగ్ ఆఫ్ బీయింగ్ నేకెడ్ రైట్ వెన్ యూ వెన్ యూఆర్ హ్యూమిలియేటెడ్ అండ్ when you are put in a helpless spot let's uh, come down to that and that adoka amma ye jayalsa avasaram ledu relationship lo ne avvalsa avasaram ledu lot of aspects your boss can do that to you yeah tanta adhi kani and i wanted to literally uh, show that ante mm. mm. that that feeling of uh, right. being mm. naked uh, among 100 people mm. i wanted to like literally push to that level right what were you thinking about when you were performing that thing the interval scene yeah the interval scene i was uh, i was completely ali i can't be like you know i did the, i uh, created an emotion from my memory i was completely ali ante what i like to do is uh, i believe every character is the way they are because of their incidences from the moment they had their consciousness so i like to write my own story from what is being there now put my point a to point b mana cinema undi ante deeni kanna point a mundu what is it and i kind of wrote a small uh, back story uh, till this point of adi oh you did yeah. yeah okay just for my own satisfaction and entertainment mm. and uh, yeah i kind of like helped me to figure that what his reaction would be rather than roshan's reaction mm. so yeah i mean like and ravi guiding me of what what he exactly wants in that scene Oh yeah i mean i would definitely say i was feeling i was adi at that moment and this being adi thing anedi is it the, are these all the what do you call techniques that you picked up from acting school or or and when you're performing something as emotional or as like said it's a very humiliating hmm. scenario because you come from an acting school does it make it any less emotional for you less emotional like less emotional in the sense the way it impacts you as a person when you are performing it definitely i'm able to um, cut myself out of that after a point after mm. a point specifically mm. saying that but like yeah when i'm there when i'm feeling it if i don't feel that impact mm. i don't think it would be as honest as it would seem on the screen so i think it would have the same emo- impact on me when i'm going through that emotion i have but, to talk about uh, the phase that when he was acting see ante idi ma andarki maybe me cinema chesam kabatti chaala great anipichachu but uh our process and the beautiful uh, japali roshan ji uh, the whole second half lo there is the izzat song episode untundi where he is mm. in his bedroom mm. he is crying alone mm. where he works in father's Hello, chicken shop years, yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. the chicken shop lo father did the panja said that whole phase mm-hmm. and we shot those driving sequences later so i could see that a scene ayin tarata it took him about 2 3 days to that come out of that zone after mm. the shoot was over i used to see that uh, cinema shooting ipen tarat kuda he used to shout he used to cry so much so that he used to that used to drain him uh, emotionally chaala ad mentally emotionally chaala draining if you are mm-hmm. crying constantly there was two days of completely crying montages that we shot two days like morning <laughs> 6 to night 6 and 2 uh, 3 days he was like he took a little time to just come out into normalcy because your uh, brain lo chemicals anni ఎంజాయ్ 
even when like you know after the scene is done maybe i'm still experiencing that and i'm just like ah oh, what is this the blah 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 and the serotonin motta crash ayipoyi there is no serotonin and cortisol itla motta raise ayipothunte i still enjoy that it is it gives me a thrill like, yeah. and never for once he uh, came back into the monitor and told me that i'm not looking good in this angle so wow. let's try another angle not even for once what 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 was your playlist during those two days crying montage i have a bunch of songs uh, కొన్ని ఆర్గనైజర్ వి ఉన్నాయి తైకూన్ బ్రిడ్జ్ అనే ఒక బ్యాండ్ ఉంది సో మెనీ థింగ్స్ దేర్ దిస్ సో క్యాచ్ అప్ యు కెన్ లుక్ అట్ యువర్ ఫోన్ అండ్ యూ కెన్ లవ్ ఇట్ యా ఓపెన్ హమర్ లో పార్ట్ ఉంది హలో కిటి ఎందులో ఓపెన్ హమర్ మీటింగ్ కిటి మీటింగ్ కిటి హలో కిటి హలో కిటి మీటింగ్ కిటి ఆ మీటింగ్ కిటి వాస్ మోస్ట్ లైక్ I couldn't bring Shiva or a song. Are we for the interval? Oh. Where did you shoot Jaisara? That whole bike riding scene? Ah, that's crazy. It's 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 crazy. Okay, okay. So, luckily it had that arrows. Ah. 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 ఇలా కార్లో హాయిగా ఇట్లా కూర్చొని ఓకే రోషన్ రెడీ రోషన్ అంటున్నారు నేను మంగా కూర్చున్నాను ఇట్లా వీ ఆర్ రోమింగ్ అరౌండ్ ఫ్రమ్ జూబ్లీ రోడ్ నెంబర్ ఫార్టీ ఫైవ్ టిల్ ద ఓవర్ ఆర్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ ఫోర్ టైమ్స్ లిటరల్ వీ డిడ్ రౌండ్స్ అరౌండ్ దాట్ ఐఎమ్ సిట్టింగ్ ఇన్ ద బాక్సెస్ ఆన్ ద బైక్ బై మై సెల్ దీస్ గైస్ ఆర్ సిటింగ్ ద కార్ ఐ సీ లాడ్ పీపుల్ లైక్ విచ్ లుకింగ్ అట్ మీ లైక్ హూ ఐ హూస్ దిస్ క్రేజీ గై జస్ట్ లైక్ అంటే ఐ థింక్ దిస్ ఫిల్మ్ హస్ killed my uh, inhibitions <laughs> and inhibitions yeah, but did you have inhibitions before stepping in front of camera no i didn't uh-huh. but this is taking it to another level yeah obviously that me roam i never thought that i would roam around the city in my boxes <laughs> let's do a post release photo shoot karna <laughs> padta <laughs> so this is the playlist for uh, the climax oh so you say it to the viewers <laughs> yeah so there's this co- song is called uh, people Ah, probably. <laughs> I'll share the playlist. Uh, there's this song uh, called Blues Run The Game by Jackson C. Frank and a bunch of Oppenheimer's uh, songs. Mm. Then, I think the most, until like, uh, uh, even with all this playlist, there's this um, song by Pink Floyd, Shine mm. On Your Crazy Diamond. Mm. Really? That was uh, very, very impactful for that scene because... that song is kind of their goodbye to sid barrett and sid barrett was the founding member of pink mm. floyd so it was their goodbye to him because he went into the loony bin and all that mm. but like yeah i think that was very impactful and interval ki i have another playlist so the song also. is for you to get into the mood not to get into the mood but to just be there get into the mood is uh, i would say it's only primarily based on are these thoughts or his uh, sensations bodily sensations or um his visually what he's seeing maybe so yeah i mean the all of that is what gets me there mm-hmm. and to maybe to sustain that i could say that yes the music okay and coming back to you man you said that bubble gum ki chepe a definition is there undo that is something that you don't actually agree with yeah how do you ensure that there is because movie chusina vallandari it's actually a good uh, comparison only hmm. it's actually a decent and accurate comparison only how do you put something that you don't completely agree with in a script ah ante that's when you don't judge your uh, characters i feel because uh, but is it a character an extension of yourself yeah but it's an opinion see not every thought that comes your head is truth Mm. Uh, your thoughts and everything are just your impressions that you uh, carry from all the other surroundings from right from the moment uh, you were born mm. these are all just your impressions and conditioning that go into patterns and repeat in your head so what sometimes your mom will be speaking sometimes your dad will be speaking but what are you actually speaking is something uh, completely different your beliefs and your, your values but there is another co- character called buji he speaks all double meaning dialogues yeah i don't speak double meaning dialogues <laughs> but yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah 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 
See, okay, that is okay, comic relief. Comic that relief. When you are saying, you know, uh, like philosophy, he will not tell you. And that character can say because he 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 is someone who doesn't like girls, mm-hmm. or he is someone who is against love and relationships. Mm-hmm. Asif and character, the other friend, mm-hmm. he can say that. Did you create a backstory for him also? Like yeah, why yeah, he is that way? Yeah, yeah. Fatima. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That whole Fatima, the guy who was there. చెంబుడు <laughs> 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 i one it felt very incomplete to me yeah not what really. did you try to what was your intention with that character what were you trying to do with it the intention was just to have a madman mm. with a lot of wisdom mm. but mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but somehow uh, it didn't land uh, and it landed as a fun episode it landed very well in mm. theaters mm. but as a character i think I, i should have explored that more బికాస్ అప్పటికే చాలా టూ మనీ క్యారెక్టర్స్ ఉన్నాయి నాకు బికాస్ వీ హ్యావ్ షార్ట్ అఫ్ సీన్ ఇన్ సెకండ్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్సో విత్ హర్ష ఎస్పెషలీ ఇన్ ద ప్రీ క్లైమాక్స్ ఎపిసోడ్ వేర్ హీ కైండ్స్ ఆఫ్ ర్యాండమ్లీ గివ్స్ ఇమ్ ఫస్ట్ లో ఎలా ఎలా అయితే మాట్లాడాడు తలెత్తి చూడు కళ్ళు కళ్ళు పెట్టి చూడు నీ కథ మొదలైపోతుంది సో ఆ సేమ్ అలాంటి సిచ్యువేషన్ కి అలాంటి దానికి ఒక సిచ్యువేషనల్ ఫిలాసఫీ ఒకటి చెప్తాడు ఎండింగ్ లో వీ డెంట్ యూజ్ దట్ ఇన్ ద ఫిల్ బట్ యా అంటే వన్ థింగ్ ఐ వాంటెడ్ హర్ష ఇన్ దట్ రోల్స్ బికాస్ దట్ గై is crazy ante i i <laughs> i am ante uh, i couldn't explore that character too much mm. but uh, i wanted him in my film and why that ball is it that same ball that sai kumar yes. gave ball <laughs> <laughs> it's the same ball because <laughs> vaadu set lo vachinappudu we were, we didn't know madman mm. allowed to harsh yeah, boundary yeah, yeah boundary led so he came up with that saying that we'll just go all over the top we'll say you know we'll let's bring out that reference from that film i still remember the first mm. time harsha came on to set uh, i didn't know what he was going to do ante i had a I didn't basic tell idea as what he was going to do we uh. had a basic idea and the script is as we move anta mm. ante like okay my imagination there was something else uh, harsha ucchet set pen gocharu and uh, we went on to the set and na paina ante na paim close close ga the mid range shot was on my my axis mm. వచ్చాడు రే అమ్మ చూస్తే నాకు నా నిజంగా ఆ షార్ట్ లో యుల్ సీ మీ గెటింగ్ అంటే కొంచెం భయం వేస్తుంది నాకు దగ్గర వస్తుంది అంటున్నాను నాకు పడిపోయింది ఇప్పుడు ఎందుకంటే పక్కన కూర్చొని మా మా అనన్య కాని కిరణ్ కానీ పట్టుకుని బుట్ల పట్టేసుకొని కొడుతున్నాడు ఏదో చేస్తున్నాడు నాకు భయం వేస్తుంది సో యా ఇప్పుడు ఫస్ట్ షార్ట్ లో యాక్చువల్లీ బ్లోన్ అయ్యి అంటే అప్పుడు ఐ రిమెంబర్ ఎవ్రీబడి వాస్ క్లాపింగ్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ క్రేజీ చేశాడు ఆ సీన్ man for you what is the biggest validation that uh, you felt you got throughout this process the biggest i wouldn't say validation i think uh, success because i always believed mm. success is my success is not measured by the numbers or mm. anything else except for the impact i create and i can see that uh, the impact that i want to generate for the future purposes as well mm. has started because uh, I, uh, as ravi told మేము ఎల్బీ నగర్ లో ఒక థియేటర్కి వెళ్ళినప్పుడు దే వాస్ దిస్ గై కాల్ రాహుల్ హూ కేమ్ అప్ అంటే లైక్ ఐ డోంట్ నో హీ ఈస్ హీ నోస్ మీ అస్ సో అండ్ సో సన్ మే బీ ఆర్ మే బీ నాట్ హీ సో ద ఫిల్మ్ కంప్లీట్లీ అండ్ హీ ఫెల్ట్ సంథింగ్ మే బీ హీ వాట్ ఇన్స్పైర్డ్ మే బీ హీ ఫెల్ట్ ద ఇమోషన్ ఆర్ వాట్ ఎవర్ బట్ హీ వాస్ ఇంపాక్టెడ్ అండ్ హీ కేమ్ హీ హెల్ప్ మీ అండ్ ఐ కుడ్ సీ ఇన్ ఐస్ అండ్ తర్వాత సంగారెడ్డికి వెళ్ళాము సంగారెడ్డికి వెళ్ళినప్పుడు దేర్ వాజ్ అ బంచ్ ఆఫ్ పీపుల్ ఫాలోయింగ్ ఇస్ ఇన్ ది జీ మేము ఇంకా ఏదో ఫోటోలు అడగడం వస్తున్నాయి అనుకోని వెళ్తున్నాము బట్ ఆఫ్టర్ పాయింట్ దే ఇస్ లిటరీ కేవ్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ కిలోమీటర్స్ ఆ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ కిలోమీటర్స్ వచ్చారు బట్ హీ జెన్యున్లీ ఫెల్ట్ సంథింగ్ వాచింగ్ ద ఫిల్మ్ యూస్ ఐ క్రేజ్ చేసావు అన్న అంటే నాకు చాలా నచ్చింది అన్న నాకు ఎక్కడో తగిలింది అన్న అన్నాడు ఐ థింక్ దీస్ ఆర్ ద థింగ్స్ దట్ వీ యాజ్ ఫిల్మ్ మేకర్స్ ఆర్ యాక్టర్స్ ఆర్ ఎనీబడి యూస్ రిలేటెడ్ విత్ ఫిల్మ్స్ మేక్ ఫిల్మ్స్ ఫర్ సో ఐ థింక్ దట్ ఈస్ ఐ వుడ్ సే వ్యాలిడేషన్ యాజ్ యూ ఫ్రేమ్ ఇట్ ఫర్ యూ మ్యామ్ i think for me uh, uh, always i go with my uh, first validation ag ever degunchi kavalante na producers degunchi kavali because it's uh, their money that uh, that's being put into the film that i want to make so i think once i got the validation from my producers uh, i think that was my biggest win mm. as a filmmaker 
బికాస్ ఆడియన్స్కి చాలా స్టోరీలు కొన్ని నచ్చుతాయి కొన్ని నచ్చవు దట్ డజంట్ స్టాప్ మీ ఫ్రమ్ మేకింగ్ యువర్ మోర్ ఫిల్మ్స్ ఆర్ టెలింగ్ మోర్ స్టోరీస్ యా సమ్ కొన్ని కనెక్ట్ అవుతాయి కొన్ని తగలవు కొన్ని గట్టి తగులుతాయి కొన్ని తగలవు సో దట్స్ ఆల్వేస్ దేర్ విత్ ది ఆడియన్స్ బయటికి వెళ్ళిన తర్వాత మన చేతిలో లేదు ఇట్స్ లైక్ యూనో ఎంత బాగా చదువుకుని ఎంత బాగా ఎగ్జామ్స్ రాసినా యుల్ యుల్ హ్యావ్ దట్ వన్ డే ఆఫ్ రిజల్ట్ సో యూ డోంట్ నో వాట్ హ్యాపెన్స్ దట్ డే బట్ దానికోసం పనిచేస్తే మన ప్రాసెస్ ని డిస్రెస్పెక్ట్ చేసినట్టు అవుతుంది ఇన్ ద ప్రాసెస్ ఆఫ్ టెలింగ్ ద స్టోరీస్ విత్ సో మచ్ డెడికేషన్ ప్యాషన్ అండ్ సిన్సియరిటీ సో ఐ థింక్ ఆర్ మన మూడ్ ఆర్ మన ఇమోషన్ రిజల్ట్ మీద డిపెండ్ అయితే ఆ ప్రాసెస్ ని ఆటోమేటిక్ గా డిస్రెస్పెక్ట్ చేసినట్టు సో ఐ థింక్ ఫర్ మీ వాలిడేషన్ ఇఫ్ మై ప్రొడ్యూసర్స్ హ్యాపీ ఐ యామ్ హ్యాపీ అండ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ మై ఫైనల్ క్వశ్చన్ రవికాంత్ కి ఒక జోన్ ఉంది అండ్ నౌ ఐ సీ దట్ నౌ దట్ యు ఆర్ టాకింగ్ uh when you are picking a script you are like okay this this i'm sure you you must have heard other scripts also right yes. did you yes yes yeah, but you din tarvata na din din tarvata din mundu din mundu i am still yet to listen to a bunch of scripts okay. now after this but yeah din ke munde okay mm. uh common question laga ankonde you start and you, you also give your take from acting perspective when you are creating something when you are creating art and it called you are putting your personality into it i yeah. can clearly see ravikant perepu's voice in in bubble hmm. i can see your personality i mean like meer cheppinante aadi lo there is a bit of you there is definitely exactly. a bit of you but unfortunately at the end of the day this is considered to be a business as well yeah when you are creating an art that at the end of the day is going to be treated like a product how do you balance your personal taste and what people want is it something that you are going to be conscious about going forward how do you see no, this while making bubble gum itself i was uh, very much conscious to have that balance mm. uh, that is the reason because see i grew up watching all mass numbers nen full telugu film fanatic nen chiranjeevi gar fan ni so mm. i have i love those uh, first day mass theater experiences mm. so somewhere i wanted those elements in my film Mm. like dance that Habibi is why you you keep a, that, is that one of the reasons why you have a fight in the exactly mm. yeah because i nak in in the mundane no i didn't get a chance to explore all of those elements mm. in my previous films mm. so this was kind of an experiment i i was not treating the, this to be just because people will like these dances and fights mm. let's keep them in this film but i wanted to find an organic way to induce those elements so that uh, it will be a first time thing for me as a filmmaker to try out something to test new waters mm. so that's why i have all those elements uh which probably i thought at that point was kind of balancing the niche or uh, the unique point that i was trying to tell in the climax mm-hmm. but uh, going forward i think uh, i'm not going to do that Ooh, i'm, I'm what, consciousness con- or no no i'm not going to consciously uh, cater for people okay yeah it it mm. uh, and somewhat i feel that uh, if i'm making a film that has to cater for mass it's going to be absolutely mass mm. i will not uh, balance it out with something else would you say krishna and his leela was something that you made for yourself and i mean like yeah, yeah. completely uh, yeah. <laughs> totally yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. krishna and his leela was completely that because see kshanam it was a thriller so it has a certain boundaries you can't cross those boundaries and go when you're especially making a thriller because uh, who done it lo there is a limited boundary but when you're doing a relationship drama it gets so personal to you mm. that uh, you don't know how many people will connect to it or you don't know where that boundary is you can talk about anything in under the sun when you are mm. making a drama you can draw examples from different mythology in chitra ji to different mm. life experiences in chitra ji to especially then uh, you should take films like yedi ejavani yediwani or wake up said you have scope to talk about all things all emotions that uh, one person go through Mm. and th- that not necessarily uh, everybody has to go through dan ko limited uh, audience untaru but i think that's the risk that we have to take going forward telling stories like this but should we tell these kind of stories absolutely if you we have to yeah we need if, this yeah, kind yeah. Of if you want to say it you have to say it and like i said the moment you start you know tailoring your scripts for the audience yeah. the moment you start you know customizing it according to audience taste ravikant perepu ane voice tagipothu ostu yeah yeah so i really hope you retain that as well now coming to you roshan same thing how are you going to balance what the audience want and what your personality is or what your personal taste 
As I said, um, what I make films is for the impact that it generated. That impact can be through anything. It can be through a emotional film. It can be through a comedy film. It can be through any other romantic film or whatever it is. It's not decided by the genre. So my primary goal would be to engage the audience mm. through whatever means, whether it is any genre that I'm choosing or whatever it is. But engaging the audience while they're sitting in the theater for the two and a half hours or whatever the duration of the film is. Mm. So engagement of that audience and make sure that they are taking something away, not taking something away until like it's a message, it has to be something that sticks with them. It engages them and something that impacts them. For example, uh, very wild example, this is the only thing I remember. Mm-hmm. Interstellar, uh, Interstellar was a very turning point for me in my career mm-hmm. or life as an actor. I always wanted to become an actor. The moment I had uh, my own consciousness, mm-hmm. I wanted to become an actor. But uh, when I was seeing Interstellar, uh, I saw um, th- our scene, there's a specific scene where he goes back to his daughter when she's uh, on her deathbed and like... Oh you know, my god, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That is not something that I could ever relate to. Mm. Nor have I ever related, I mean, had something similar to that also. But that emotion made me cry in the theater for the first time in my life. Oh, that's So I was like, into the, into the, into the, and I wanted to learn more about that. So my goal is to create something that impactful. Whether it is through comedy or whatever, whatever. Doesn't define it, I mean... Uh, I don't want to restrict myself to one genre or something like that. Mm-hmm. So the impact and the engagement is what I'm looking at. Mm-hmm. Can be through anything. Lovely. And see, I can say that box office, all the discourse around it, yeah. I don't know about that. But I have a feeling that Bubblegum is, is a film that, that needs to be talked about, that will compel you to talk about if, if someone watches it. Like I said, you like it or dislike it, that's a different thing. Correct. But it's a film that will make you talk about. Yeah. And I really liked it. I really liked you in the film. You Thank were you. Thank you, Ram. Very Thank good. You. And Ravi, like I said, just retain your voice, man. Just Thank retain you. your voice. Thank you, Ram. Don't let, uh, you know, the external factors dictate no, your uh, choices. <laughs> Likewise to you. Yeah. Wishing you guys uh, all the success, all the very best. Thank you, Ram. Thanks for the time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you so, you so much. much for this. Thank you, bye.